so let's make the option so we can actually get a new account so inside our uh, visual studio we can click on this window and we can click play fab and it is our extension you will see here that it's possible to make a playfair account, but we already made one in the last tutorial. If you don't have one, you can create one. So I will just log in with mine, this, and when you log in, you will see if you have the latest SDK uh, installed. If you don't have that, you need to install it. Um, before making a call, it must, let's see my title. Then you have some settings. Normally, you will be able to see your currently title here, uh, but it's not done refreshing yet. So we have some studios here, tutorial studios. So we can pick that one, and we have the PlayFab tutorials. Uh, then we now we are actually logged into our um, PlayFab tutorial. So we can start on the code and go into the login page and we will make a new button and call it public void register user button. Okay, so up here in the top, make sure that we are using playfab and we are using playfab.clientmodels. So playfab works a bit different than the regular way of coding. So that's something we need to have some focus on, but let's start making a var request equal to new register play user request. So we are going to register a playfab user request. And in here we say that we're gonna you need a display name, which be equal to the username register input that we made earlier dot text. And we will need a email. So capital E, and that will be, sorry, this is actually the first thing we need. We're not using this anymore. I will be saying a comma like this. And the email will be equal to email register input dot text. Make sure you are using the right inputs here. So they all have the register name and comma again. And then we have the password. This will be equal to uh, password register input dot text and finally we can set require both user mail uh, and email and set it equal to true so we gonna need a username and email and we need both and we can do it like that I actually just set it false for now and then we will say that playfab uh, client api dot register playfab user so we're going to register the new user and we're going to do what's inside the request up here and we're going to say on register success and what to do on error right click on this one and a quick action and do a method on that one so we get this method and the same here quick action with a method we can call this error and we can call this result uh, it's up to you what you want to call it so this is what's gonna happen when uh, it's a success that the user actually was the first getting a new account. So what we want to happen is that the message text that text should be equal to something like new account is created. And we're gonna say the open login page function. So we're gonna open the login page again. What gonna happen on our error? Well, we're gonna say the message text that text is equal to error dot generate. Uh, sorry, error report error message like that and then we're gonna make a deeper log for ourselves so we can read if there's any error so we're gonna be error dot generate report like that 
that's this will be our function so we're gonna ask for display name email password uh, it is mandatory that the uh, password is over six letters so you can make like a if um, statement up here that if the user kind of don't enter so you can like make a if statement uh, if password is less than six uh, message text is equal to too short password or something like that um, for now, let's just do this. So uh, we have the register page, uh, login page, and open the register page. Find the register button, add a function, put in the login system, and add the register user like that. So if we click play now. And we pick a name like uh, Playfab Playfab tutorial tutorial and our mail will be test dot test twelve dot com and our password will be test test twelve. We can click the register and it will say new account is created and go into the login page. So how can we check if there is actually a new account? We can go into Chrome, we can go into Playfab, and we can uh, sign in. We can go into our game and click on Players, and we can click Search and see that there is a new Playfab tutorial that's have logged in last uh, here at seven, which is kind of wrong compared to my current time, but yeah. And um, yeah, so now we actually have a new user. So the next part is that we need to be able to log in and then we need to be able to redeem the password.